Welcome to You Can Learn Photography. In this lesson, we're going to use Photoscape X to apply a texture to this image that you see here, which is an osprey landing on a tree. Now, what we do first is we open up our image, and I would suggest with your images over here is create a couple folders, one with your images in it, and then one with your textures in it, and then it's easy to navigate and find your images as well as find your textures. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to put a texture over the top of this image. So we're going to go up here and we're going to click insert and then we're going to click image and then we're going to go to our folder that has our textures and here we're going to pick our cloud texture image 5709 and we're going to click open. Okay now what we're going to do here is we have to stretch this image to fit so we take and grab the handle we push it up to the top same as on the bottom and you can see these two images have the same ratio, so that's not a huge problem. If it was bigger uh, than, than the image, let's say we stretched it outside the image like this, when we go to save it, it'll ask us if we want to keep uh, what the original image was plus what's outside, and what we would normally do is we would say no. Okay, so we're just going to make that tuck back in there right now, just like that. Okay, and for this particular texture we're going to come here and change our opacity to 50 percent and now we can see the clouds with the uh, osprey showing up there now we're going to then change our blend mode to multiply and now we actually see that that actually is blending right in now with this process because photoscape x doesn't allow us to mask out uh, some of the texture over the top of the image we're going to see a little bit of that color cast bleeding in onto some pieces of our image so for the purposes of this exercise, we're going to see that uh, because Photoscape X is free, it uh, doesn't have the feature for us to go and mask that out. Okay, so now that we've actually chosen opacity at 50 and our blend mode is multiply, we can, and we stretched our, our uh, texture out, we can now go and make some adjustments to our image that's underneath the texture. So let's go and click color. And then under color for this particular image, we're going to lighten our shadows because we noticed that um, the osprey got a little dark when we uh, added our texture. So we're going to lighten our shadows. We're going to bring that up to 60, somewhere as close to 60. Okay, and then we're going to adjust our contrast to 15. Okay, and then we're going to take and make our brightness to 10. Now you don't see brightness here, so we have to click the more button. And then we can go here and take and click our brightness and bring our brightness up to 10. Okay, and now that makes a change. And you can see that's quite a bit brighter than what originally was. So now we'll click apply. That's now completed. We're then going to click save because we want to save our image. And we always do a save as because we don't want to overwrite our original image. So we click save as. We come down here and we'll go underscore texture. Okay, and then we'll click save. Now it's going to say that there's already one there it, because as I say, we're just going to overwrite it. Normally you wouldn't overwrite it. This would be a message telling you that you've made a mistake. But in our case, we know that it's okay. So we're going to click yes. We click back here. Here's our before image. And now here's our after image. We notice this has made a, quite a difference. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. And I hope you enjoy this month's theme challenge. Bye for now.